Hi friends, today we're going to be reading from the book The Seven Habits of Happy Kids by Sean Covey, illustrated by Stacy Curtis, read by Ethan and Chan Seaver. When Lily Skunk was just a little skunk, she loved to visit Miss Hoot's garden. There were so many amazing vegetables to look at. Cucumbers, radishes, carrots, peppers, beans, and lettuce. One afternoon, Lily said to her mom, I wish we had a vegetable garden like Miss Hoot's. Me too, said mom, but planting a garden takes a lot of time and effort. I know, but I'll do all the work, said Lily. I promise. I'm sorry, said mom. I just don't think you realize how much work it takes. You have to fix the dirt, then plant the seeds, then weed and water almost every day. I bet I'd end up doing most of it, and I'm just too busy right now. But I really, really, really want to garden, said Lily. Lily looked as if she might burst into tears. Well, said Mom, looking at Lily's face, maybe someday we could look into planting something easier, something like a strawberry patch? A strawberry patch wouldn't take as much work as a vegetable garden, and strawberries are so delicious. But Lily didn't want to wait till someday. She wanted a vegetable garden right now. In the middle of the night, Lily woke up with a great idea. She ran over to her desk and pulled out a sheet of paper. She got her favorite pen and wrote a note to her mom. Dear Mom, if you will let me have a garden, here's what I'll do. Grow vegetables and strawberries, water and weed, get stink to help. Here's what you will get. Not much work for you. Yummy vegetables and tasty strawberries. Love, Lily. The next morning, Lily ran downstairs and handed her note to Mom. Oh, Lily, Mom said as she read it. I can see that you want this garden very badly. She paused. Then she said, well, if you promise to do most of the work and I get to eat strawberries, I'd say your plan is a win-win. When do you want to get started? Right now, said Lily. That afternoon, Mom and Lily raked the dirt and planted the seeds. Dad put up a scarecrow. After that, Mom and Dad got busy with other things and Lily kept working in the garden. All summer long, Lily watered and weeded, weeded and watered, just like she promised. It was hard work. Stink helped too. At least he tried, but usually he only got in the way. He kept watering himself instead of watering the vegetables, and Lily had to remind him not to pull up the carrots to see how they were doing. Soon tiny plants poked up from the dirt. After several more weeks, Lily started to see some vegetables, and strawberries, too. When everything was ready to harvest, Lily and Stink picked a whole bunch of vegetables and strawberries and brought them into the house. Wow, said Mom. Fresh vegetables and strawberries? That's great! Now I won't have to buy veggies and strawberries at the store anymore. And it's so healthy to eat out of our own garden. What a treat! That night for dinner, Lily, Stink, Mom, and Dad had vegetable soup and strawberry shortcake. These strawberries are so juicy, said Mom. They are delicious and nutritious. I'm sure proud of you, Lily. You worked really hard all summer long, and I hardly did a thing, just like you said. And thank you, too, Stink. I'm glad you're happy, said Lily. Hey, Maybe I should plant a flower garden, said Mom. Are you sure you want to do that, Mom? asked Lily. Planting a garden takes a lot of time and effort. You just don't realize how much work it takes. Here are some questions about the story. What was Lily so excited about? Have you ever been super excited to do something? What was it? Why was Lily's mom worried?
How did Lily convince her mom to go along with her plan? In the end, why were both Lily and her mom happy? How did they both win? Why is it important to think about making others happy as well as yourself? Thanks for reading along.